this video series is a complete and comprehensive walkthrough on how to install over 100 mods for Skyrim. Not just any mods, mods that are going to overhaul the entire game from the aesthetics that you see on the screen at the moment, to the combat, new armors, new behavior for NPCs, new quests, and new spells. And instead of just telling you to go download the mod and hoping that you get all the compatibility patches sorted, I'm going to be going through step by step, showing you the exact order in which to download them, showing you all the extra patches that you may need, and talking you through every single step of the installation process. This process is divided into five videos. The first video, we install some frameworks that we're going to expand upon in the future. We download our mod manager and we get our script extenders up and running. In the second video, we overhaul the combat. We install a bunch of new weapons and armor mods. In the third video, we overhaul the magical aspects of the game. New dragons, new spells, better vampires, better werewolves, all that good stuff. Episodes 4 and 5, we bring all the visual mods together. We completely overhaul the landscape. At the end of the series, your Skyrim will look exactly like my Skyrim does on the screen. Before we begin, there are a few things that you will need. You will need a completely fresh copy of Skyrim with all the DLC. It just means that if you currently have Skyrim installed, I would kindly ask that you uninstall it and reinstall it for the purposes of this video. If you have any mods installed for Skyrim, I would ask that you uninstall them. This is because they may cause compatibility issues down the line and we don't want that. You also need around about 40 gigabytes free of hard drive space. And as for the performance aspect of your PC, CPU doesn't matter so much, but you will need at least eight gigabytes of RAM. You might be able to scathe by on four or six, but I would really recommend eight. For the video card aspect, I would recommend a NVIDIA 660 Ti or higher, or a 7870 or higher. And if you do have one, try and free up the space on your SSD. Towards the end of it, the loading times are gonna get a little bit long. For reference, on my SSD, the loading times are between 12 and 15 seconds. But enough of that, let's move on to episode one. I go a little bit slow at the start, but the pace rapidly picks up. I hope you have a wonderful time. I hope you enjoy the videos, and I hope that by the end of this, your Skyrim is as good as it can be.